Welcome D Lab. As well as working on vintage electronics, I also dabble on the side in the instrumentation field. When you're out working on a machine, you need an instrument for injecting or measuring signals. This is an Omega CL427. When I acquired this instrument, I got a great deal, but unfortunately, the battery was bad and replacing it was not as easy as I thought. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what I came up with. So as I stated, when the CL427 arrived, the internal battery would not take a charge. So I thought, well, it's no big deal. I, I got a good price on the unit, so I'll just contact Omega and order a replacement lithium cell. It's just a little plug-in battery. After getting tossed around by their customer service, they finally informed me that they don't sell the battery and they didn't offer any source for a replacement. I thought, well, that's crazy. This is a current model. It costs over $1,300 and you don't have replacement batteries available? So I scoured the internet for a while looking for a replacement and I couldn't find anything that was close to the original specs. This was one of those little lithium cells. They're silver and they're kind of flexible. It was rated 11.1 volts at 1600 milliamp hours, okay? So I thought, well, I could probably just go ahead and build a battery pack. There's plenty of room inside of the unit. Then, I was searching Amazon. Lo and behold, I found a battery that looks like it was gonna fit. So the specifications on this new battery was 11.1 volts at 2600 milliamp hours. The dimensions looked like they would fit inside of the case, but it was gonna be tight. So I took a gamble and I ordered it. It was $36. Let me show you the battery in the unit and what I had to do to make it fit properly. You pop off this rubber holster and then there's three Phillips head screws that simply hold the back of the case on. Get them out. I should lift right off. There is the new battery. Now I did have to solder on the two pin connector from the old battery. This one just came with flying leads. There she is. 2600 milliamp per hour, 11.1 .1 volts. It goes right in there like it was made for it. So the length and the width of the battery pack was fine. However, the height was a little bit too high. So when I went to put on the back cover, it would actually rock on the battery. So to avoid damage, I installed some of these little white spacers. These spacers give enough clearance now to where when the case goes on, the screws go in, it closes right up nicely and after you put on the holster you'd never know it. Here's the battery info from the Amazon order. I received the battery within a few days. The calibrator has been in use for a few weeks. No problems noted using the stock charger. A little tech tip for the battery to charge the calibrator must be powered on. So I would highly recommend this battery as a suitable replacement for the CL-427.